for the third year in a row, Africa's airline industry continues to be in serious, serious trouble. Now, this year, IATA, that's the International Air Transport Association, is forecasting that African carriers will collectively post smaller losses, roughly half a billion dollars. But given the scale of the combined losses in the preceding years, about, you know, one and a half billion dollars, shareholders in these carriers really can't take much more pain. Thing is, though, losses per passenger they're also going to be slightly lower. Carriers are going to be losing just about $6 for every passenger they move around all over the continent. Now, if all prices had not crashed as they did in the middle of 2014, it's arguable that these numbers would be a lot, lot worse. Now, at this point, African carriers really are the only ones who collectively are posting losses. North America, Asia, the Middle East, even Latin America, they're all back in black. The one positive forecast from IATA's latest economic assessment, however, is that revenue per passenger kilometer, that's essentially the one main metric that's very closely watched for the financial performance of airlines, for African carriers will go up by nearly 5% this year. And that's after being flat for the two preceding years in a row. Performance, to quote the report, is improving but only slowly, which isn't really saying much. Now, the one standout among all the big African carriers amidst all this fiscal carnage is Ethiopian Airlines. When Kenya Airways was reporting a loss of over a quarter of a billion dollars for the fiscal year ending in March, Ethiopian was reporting a profit of nearly 150 million for the fiscal year ending in June that year. Kenya Airways, of course, is deep in negative equity. It's restructuring at the moment. It's looking for capital and diving into other side businesses as well. The big known here, however, is South African Airways. It hasn't had any proper results out for years. It's still waiting for a taxpayer guarantee of $370 million just in order to remain a going concern. That's the status of African aviation so far.